Barrier Islands are a coastal landform and a type of dune system that are exceptionally flat or lumpy areas of sand which form by wave and tidal action parallel to the mainland coast. They usually occur in chains, consisting of anything from a few islands to more than a dozen. They are subject to change during storms and other action, but absorb energy and protect the coastlines, as well as creating areas of protected waters where wetlands may flourish. A barrier chain may extend uninterrupted for over a hundred kilometers, excepting the tidal inlets that separate the islands, the longest and widest being Padre Island of Texas. The length and width of barriers and overall morphology of barrier coasts are related to parameters including tidal range, wave energy, sediment supply, sea level trends and basement controls. Chains of barrier islands can be found along approximately 13% of the world's coastlines. They display different settings, suggesting that they can form and be maintained in a variety of environmental settings. Numerous theories have been given to explain their formation. Formation Scientists have proposed numerous explanations for the formation of barrier islands for more than 150 years. There are three major theories, offshore bar, spit accretion, and submergence. No single theory can explain the development of all barriers, which are distributed extensively along the world's coastlines. Scientists accept the idea that barrier islands, including other barrier types, can form by a number of different mechanisms. There appears to be some general requirements for formation. Barrier island systems develop most easily on wave-dominated coasts with a small to moderate tidal range. Coasts are classified into three groups based on tidal range, microtidal, 0 a euro 2 meter tidal range, mesotidal, 2 a euro 4 meter tidal range, and macrotidal, 4 meter tidal range. Barrier islands tend to form primarily along microtidal coasts, where they tend to be well developed and nearly continuous. They are less frequently formed in mesotidal coasts, where they are typically short with tidal inlets common. Barrier islands are very rare along macrotidal coasts. Along with a small tidal range and a wave-dominated coast, there must be a relatively low gradient shelf. Otherwise, sand accumulation into a sandbar would not occur and instead would be dispersed throughout the shore. An ample sediment supply is also a requirement for barrier island formation. The last major requirement for barrier island formation is a stable sea level. It is especially important for sea level to remain relatively unchanged during barrier island formation and growth. If sea level changes are too drastic, Time will be insufficient for wave action to accumulate sand into a dune, which will eventually become a barrier island through aggradation. The formation of barrier islands requires a constant sea level so that waves can concentrate the sand into one location. Equals offshore bar theory equals, in 1845 the Frenchman Ali de Beaumont published an account of barrier formation. He believed that waves moving into shallow water churned up sand which was deposited in the form of a submarine bar when the waves broke and lost much of their energy. As the bars developed vertically, they gradually rose above sea level, forming barrier islands. Equal spit accretion theory equals, American geologist Grove Carl Gilbert first argued in 1885 that the barrier sediments came from longshore sources. He proposed that sediment moving in the breaker zone through agitation by waves in longshore drift would construct spits extending from headlands parallel to the coast. The subsequent breaching of spits by storm waves would form barrier islands. Equals submergence theory equals. William John McGee reasoned in 1890 that the east and gulf coasts of the United States were undergoing submergence, as evidenced by the many drowned river valleys that occur along these coasts, including Raritan. Delaware and Chesapeake Bays. He believed that during submergence, coastal ridges were separated from the mainland, and lagoons formed behind the ridges. He used the Mississippi-Alabama Barrier Islands as an example where coastal submergence formed barrier islands. His interpretation was later shown to be incorrect when the ages of the coastal stratigraphy and sediment were more accurately determined. Along the coast of Louisiana, Former lobes of the Mississippi River Delta have been reworked by wave action, forming beach ridge complexes. 
prolonged sinking of the marshes behind the barriers has converted these former vegetated wetlands to open water areas. In a period of 125 years, from 1853 to 1978, two small semi-protected bays behind the barrier developed as the large water body of Lake Pelto, leading to Isles Derenyers' detachment from the mainland. Equals Boulder Bank equals, an unusual natural structure in New Zealand may give clues to the formation processes of barrier islands. The Boulder Bank, at the entrance to Nelson Haven at the northern end of the South Island, is a unique 13 kilometers long stretch of rocky substrate a few meters in width. It is not strictly a barrier island, as it is linked to the mainland at one end. The boulder bank is composed of granodiorite from a Kai bluff, which lies close to the point where the bank joins the mainland. It is still debated what process or processes have resulted in this odd structure, though longshore drift is the most accepted hypothesis. Studies have been conducted since 1892 to determine the speed of boulder movement. Rates of the top course gravel movement have been estimated at 7.5 meters a year. Ecological importance Barrier islands are critically important in mitigating ocean swells and other storm events for the water systems on the mainland side of the barrier island, as well as protecting the coastline. This effectively creates a unique environment of relatively low energy, brackish water. Multiple wetland systems such as lagoons, estuaries, and or marshes can result from such conditions depending on the surroundings. They are typically rich habitats for a variety of flora and fauna. Without barrier islands, these wetlands could not exist. They would be destroyed by daily ocean waves and tides as well as ocean storm events. One of the most prominent examples is the Louisiana Barrier Islands. See also, Island Welding, Outer Banks, Virginia Barrier Islands, New York Barrier Islands, Texas Barrier Islands, Sea Islands, Long Beach Island, Bald Head Island. Notes. References Davis Jr., Richard A. Fitzgerald, Duncan M., Beaches and Coasts, United Kingdom, Blackwell Publishing, ISBN 0-632-04308-3, Morton, Robert A., Historical Changes in the Mississippi-Alabama Barrier Islands and the Roles of Extreme Storms, Sea Level, and Human Activities, U.S. Geological Survey.